Hello, I'm Maurice Dimba and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create the isolated footing and the best tool or macro to use to create it in Tecla structures. Let's get started right away and we'll go straight to applications and component here, the normal route. And then just type the name of the macro or the tool you intend to use or the tool that you think might assist you in whatever you want to improve. Then uh, this is where we'll we will access it. I'll go ahead and click that. Then uh, I'll click uh, footing. ISO. The ISO means the isometric. Then uh, I'll just snap on that spot right there. So this is how it looks. So if when I come to view here and come to navigate and click that drop down arrow and pick the first option, this will enable us or uh, simplify our rotation or navigation around all the all the uh, sections or or all the position of our 3d model then i'll snap on that then press my left button on the mouse and i'll be able to turn this round like that so this is how it looks this is how it looks and remember this should be below the zero zero level the uh, it, it should be below the top of this should be below the grid uh, just to, to indicate that it is a zero zero level this uh, pad should be below the zero level then uh, this how it looks and this how it is done now i'll go straight and double click on it to access the dialog box inside here i'll be able to feed in my feed in my parameters or customize it to my specified uh preference now the height of my uh, column base here i can i can give it uh, i can give it 600 or 4 or, or 500 uh, the width of my pad footing or, or the isolated footing i can leave it at that and this i can change maybe to two meters and this one also i can give it a, di a different dimension same dimension of two two meters and here also i can use the same 600 uh, as used on the other end so this i can leave it at two at, at 100 and at 100 like that and detail we don't need this so much uh, i don't need that so much then i'll come to here i'll come to this i come back here and click modify and this is how it looks and this it doesn't look the best way to describe it and we'll, we'll try to check and and try to uh, rectify whatever we've done wrong and if you come here you can see we feed uh, six meter in t instead of 600 it's better way to bring uh, double click and rectify that and that this how it look apply and give it an, an, uh, a nod here by clicking okay then click on empty screen and this how it look select everything here and once you've selected everything and you've included grid just press control and select the two gr uh, the grid to isolate it from this uh, from this selection now i want to distribute this along this along the the x axis here and also along the y axis here this will be a uh, 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 plan layout or a foundation layout for our portal frame now i've selected on this now i want to populate it along the along this axis like this so what i'm going to do i'll right click and come to spatial copy and click on linear so once i've clicked on that the key thing i'm going to look is the orientation of my xyz axis and which axis am i going to populate this and at what distance that is key so now i'm going to target the x axis in that direction and center to center of this is let me just first of all prior to populating it i want to verify and show you the dimension exactly what dimension um, um, are we going to populate this to at what interval this will be six meters center uh, in, uh, uh, an interval of six meters center to center now we'll go back and invoke our selection and i select the parts that we don't want to be selected and we'll go straight away and right click and come to special copy here and pick linear so once you've picked on that uh, copy command then we'll pick on the axis we intend to distribute this uh, component and at what distance and at what interval distance so in this case i'm going to feed here six meter six meter and these these are one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and we already have one so we need only nine here we feed nine here we need nine 
So what we are going to do, we just click copy and we have everything in place. And again, in this direction, we have we have four. So this will be the gable end and we need all the also these uh, uh, mm. these column bases to be the other end so I'll right click and come to special copy here once again and click linear then in this in this time uh, I mean this time round we are going to use the y-axis because it's, it's pointing on this direction so it's positive so we'll not prefix our dimension with any negative sign we'll, we'll leave it at default of positive now this distance will st is five uh, five meters center to center let first of all populate this then i'll confirm you the distance of the center to that center now i'll, I'll uh, change that to zero because we don't want to interfere we want that we don't want that dimension to interfere with our orientation or population of this component along that axis of y now we'll come to y axis here and we'll feed the five meters here and how many do we, do we want to populate we have one two three f one two three four and we already have one so we need three so we'll come here and feed just three and give and give it an okay to distribute everything in that direction and that's okay so what i'm going to do once again here is like we are creating a plan layout a foundation layout of our of our structure now i want to copy all this a simpler way and take them the other end so i'll just switch to uh, the top view and select this then i'll press ctrl to isolate the grid from my copying from there from the selected from the selection and then i right click and come to copy then snap on that spot and snap here and another thing i'm going i'm, I'm, I'm seeing here is that We've also included this so that so when we copy this at this end, this will be a duplicate of that. So what we can do, just press Control and isolate this also and isolate that also so that we remain with this. Right click and come to copy and select on that and place it right there. We have that in place. So this is the foundation layout of a simple portal frame or any kind of structure. Then I'll come here and select on this. Then isolate the grid line from from the selection. Then I right click and come to copy, select on that, and bring it somewhere there, and that's complete. So when you sit back to our, our, our isometric view, this is how it will look. And this is this is the foundation layout of our structure. Now don't forget to save your work because you might lose everything when when the power shuts down and maybe you don't have a power backup and you lose everything and start from zero and that's a total wastage of time and remember time is money and money is time now let me just turn that round and this how it looks this how it looks thanks a lot for the for watching this video and don't forget to always forget don't always forget to subscribe to this channel once you watched this video and if you're new once again continue watching and don't forget to subscribe once again i'm Maurice dimba and let's meet then bye bye